أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم من حمزه ونفسه ونفسه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is just a short video showing how black magic has easily entered into the homes of the Muslims without us even knowing. Now many of us have received letters from these individuals mainly from uh, India and Pakistan uh, claiming to be very pious individuals but again they're far from it. They're actually magicians. They claim to work for local uh, well-known uh, masajids. Uh, again they are far from this. What they do is they send us little pamphlets that claim that they can help us with regards of issues with having success in business, if you're having marital problems, even if you're trying to have children, um, also suffering from any type of disease. So if, if you're having any issues, uh, please get in touch with these guys. That's what, what they're trying to say. Now what they do is they give these really nice calendars and posters uh, alongside these, um, these letters. In them, you've got Ayatul Quran on them, you've got names of Allah, you've got Durood, etc. You've got some really nice stuff. However, you also have stuff like this. If you look carefully, you've got boxes here. These boxes contain numbers, and these numbers fall under the science of numerology. In Islam, this is totally forbidden. Why they've got this in here, you know, one could question, you, you wouldn't know. Um, However, if you look carefully at this one, this is very interesting. Now again, this one's got the Ayatul Quran on, on, on here, and it looks very, very nice. If you look at this one here, this is Ayatul Kursi, many of us know this. And we know this also to be a very powerful tool in fighting off any type of evil spirits, jinnats, and the effects of evil eye, etc. So what, what's interesting about this is, if we actually get this Ayatul Kursi, and we turn it upside down, you have some more writing here. Now this writing here is, is in in a different language, it mainly looks like it's in Farsi or Persian. If you look at the last word here, this is known as Ismul Nada, so he's calling upon, or this dua or whatever it is, it is calling, or incantation rather, it's calling upon this individual, so it's saying Ya Baduh. Now for those uh, studying um, black magic uh, in regards of how to fight it, the Raqis uh, under uh, uh, Sharia, they will know that Baduh is a very powerful uh, jinn that is summoned to carry out tasks for magicians, um, a very evil individual that carries out these acts, and he wants these people to defame the Qur'an. And most of the Raqis, obviously, they know that the Qur'an uh, is used as a tool for the magicians in order to desecrate it, to commit blasphemy against it, in order for the jinns to carry out these evil acts for the magicians. Now, how... How is all this linked? Well, what happens is, when you have these these things such as these numbers here, and you have these things here, and you hang them up on your wall, they actually, or you put them away in your house, they actually are activated. So this is a talisman, it's a taweez that is activated when they are placed in a certain location. What happens then is the, the jinns come, they start to cause issues within the household, within the business, within your health, etc. and well-being. What you then do is you start to wonder, wait a minute, I've got issues now, so what am I meant to do? Who am I meant to call? And who am I meant to ask? So then you remember that these guys here can help. These guys have said, you know, they are very religious people, they work with a local well-known masajid, so we need to get in touch with these guys. So what you've got is you've got their contact numbers here, you've got email addresses, you've got a lot of information and... And to be honest, they have become very, very powerful in regards to their social you know, media aspect. They've become very, very popular and they've moved on with times. We've been receiving these letters for near enough 20 years, if not more. So over that time, these guys, uh, they have excelled in, in, in getting known worldwide. So what they then do is, once you've contacted them, they ask you to make payments into these bank accounts. Donations, they say that is for, you know, is for helping the local massages. However... Far, far be it from helping anyone these guys are magicians uh, and the purpose of this video is to expose them and it's also to, to make you guys aware that we need to stay well away from such things now if you've got these things in your house which most of you probably will do if you look carefully you need to dispose of them in a correct manner if you don't know how to do this please contact the, the local scholars who, who know about this field so they can dispose of them for you don't bin them don't do anything that you know that you may think could make issues worse because again these are activated talismans they are activated dawis and they are not good to have around in your house or around you and to make other people aware it is incumbent upon you to do this because it, as Muslims it is our job to help one another now please don't think that this video is made uh, 
from a Salafi angle or Wahhabi angle or whatever you want to call it. It's not. Um, if you look at this, this is Ayatul Kursi. This, these are the words of Allah. And for anybody to desecrate them in such a manner by writing something upside down underneath it, and then to have the words of an infamous shayateen, to be honest with you, I think anyone who you know classes this as some type of Salafi conspiracy or anything of such, uh, you know, they need to get the, the the head checked because this is clear cut blasphemy. It is haram in Islam totally. It takes you out the fold of Islam, and and we need to address these issues. So please, if you have such things, most of these contain shirk anyway. They have the names of not just angels uh, under Ismul Nada, but they also have names of other shayateen um, which I've come across. So please. Uh, act upon this, act upon it fast um, and if you have any issues please contact the local Raqis who can uh, fight these issues in, in the way that is prescribed by the Quran and the Sunnah and not any other uh, rituals which have been formed um, afterwards by by those that, that claim they fall in the Quran and the Sunnah. Please do your own research, please find out about such things. Uh,